Well, last week, a snowboarder died near Whitefish Mountain Resort after falling into a tree well. It's a dangerous situation for those who venture down the slopes. MTN's Jordan Johnson finds out what you should do if you fall into a tree trap. Tree wells. The dark abysses are an unexpected hazard for skiers, but what are they? The area around the base of the tree that doesn't have consolidated snow, but it's filled with air and branches. Kate Atha is an assistant ski patrol manager at Whitefish Mountain Resort and says the wells can put you in a bind. Because you aren't expecting to fall in one. That's the biggest hazard. It's a very unpredictable situation. Tree wells are very difficult to get out of and movement can cause the snow to collapse on you, which can create breathing problems. The most important thing to remember if you do fall in a tree well to not panic when you fall in. It's hard to gain footing or pull yourself out of it. Atha says there are a few tricks to avoid being left behind. If you're skiing in the trees to ski with a partner or in a small group, have a plan in case you get separated and constantly check in with other members of your group. As well as having a noisemaker handy. So having a whistle on you allows us to help locate you. And being aware of what the conditions are. Follow the snow report and take it easy so you know what you're getting into. The ski patrol suggests staying on groomed snow and avoiding dense tree areas. But if you do fall in a well, remember to stay calm, make airspace, and don't struggle, and have a whistle just in case. In Whitefish, Jordan Johnson, MTN News. Thanks, Jordan. Now to learn more about staying safe around tree wells, visit skiwhitefish.com slash safety.